very shortly going to be joined by Claire and Aruna from Montessori Rising UK. They uh, make handmade mobiles and interactive toys and objects for children in uh, a Montessori uh, setting. So I know very little about Montessori education, but the things they make are really interesting and very beautiful. Um, I can't wait to show it to you and to learn a bit more about Montessori and how the handmade aesthetic plays into that. I am Jo from Crown Apricot and I am joined this evening uh, by Aruna and Claire from Hi. Montessori Rising UK. I'm going to get myself comfortable now. First of all, if you could just briefly introduce yourselves and what you make and what Montessori Rising is all about, please. I'm Aruna. Um, I'm Claire. And we're Montessori Rising and we make Montessori mobiles for babies. And we have an Etsy shop and we're a pretty new venture. We only started out last month, um, but it's been the brainstorming has been happening for about a year now. And so what inspires your like the sort of the designs and things where where are you getting these ideas from so um i've been a montessori teacher for six years and when i did my training in barcelona they gave us a lot of information that's very precise and scientific about how to uh, create materials that help support children in their development so each one of the materials is 100 percent authentic montessori um, mobiles from from my training and Claire is the crafty person who actually puts them together because I'm terrible at actually <laughs> building mobiles myself. Yeah so it was, it was quite a funny kind of way it all came about because um, Arun and I met initially at uh, through my well now four-year-old um, daughter's preschool because Aruna worked there. He kind of broached it to Aruna and said oh hey you know what do you reckon we should maybe get together and make a venture and, and make these mobiles and try and sell them because you've got the Montessori background and I love crafting and how about it and then it transpired that Arun had been thinking about making some kind of Montessori based shop for quite some time um, so that's kind of where it all started. Yeah. Could you very briefly just explain to people watching this who know, have no idea what it means or maybe heard about it but don't quite know what it means they may have heard the word bandied around in educational settings standard standard education or, or what makes it unique yeah so it's, it's quite a tricky question to put to put briefly <laughs> what is <Right>. Montessori <laughs> but, uh, yeah um basically Montessori uh, was a an Italian doctor in the 19th century and and she developed a system of education through her observations of children with special needs. And um, yeah, she, she developed an environment and prepared materials according to their needs and made things that were child sized. And um, yeah, through that, children just began to flourish. And um, yeah, it became like a huge movement across the world, which is why it's still, still famous today. But it's, it's very child led and um, has strong, strong views on independence and the children being kind of the leaders of their own learning journey. Do and it's all very nature based and kind of natural yeah. materials and yeah. you know kind of re realistic um, images and so forth so mm -hmm. I was going to say does the handmade aesthetic to what you're making lend itself to the Montessori setting as well not just the actual mobiles themselves but the way they're made mm -hmm. oh absolutely yeah yeah because yeah. we, we try and use natural resources where we can we actually use natural tweaks with to try and keep it as close to nature as we can so yeah so currently the things you make um are, are almost purely visual at the moment so stuff that will stimulate um the sort of interest by visually engaging with it rather than tactically yeah 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 but we're actually starting to well we're, we're, we're thinking about expansion already even though we just got up and running uh but we're, we're looking into actually getting some more things made that are a bit more hands-on and, and physical we, we've kind of got plans to make some uh some various toys and uh, i mean we've actually got a couple of examples here Ooh. so we've got these um, I don't know if you can see them very well, but these are called Takani balls and they're basically made out of fabric. Um, these two actually have uh, different textures on them. It's really easy for the child to grip onto and handle 
and and play with you know even just when they're starting out with their gross motor skills so it's, it's really adaptable for them and then for a slightly older children we started making these um treasure bags is that what you call them sensory, sensory bags. bags that's the word yeah. um so it's quite literally a cotton bag and inside we put a variety of items um and the idea is that the child can play various games sensory games with these items by putting the hand inside feeling what's inside guessing what it might be describing mm -hmm. it the children can actually then use their sensory um recognition skills yeah. rather than looking at an object they're actually looking with their hands so that's the idea with this and you can play lots of different games and i've actually i've actually tested this on my daughter and she loves it talk me through maybe your favorite piece that is in your shop at the moment so at the moment yeah we've only got the visual mobiles and that's because we have to do some testing for anything that the ch child actually interacts with um uh, physically so We've got the, the Munari is the first Montessori mobile. That's the black and white one. And yeah, that's that's my personal favourite because I just love the contrast between the black and white. And it's got a clear bauble, which also reflects the light. And um, yeah, it's, it's the first mobile because uh, when the baby's born, they can't actually really see colour and even shapes are quite blurry. So having the contrast of black and white really helps them to develop that visual sense of understanding clear edges and uh, really beautiful and minimalistic so yeah oh they've got a wonderfully minimalistic aesthetic to them uh, watching a baby um just lying on on their floor mat and looking at the mobile they it, it's amazing to see how much they can actually intently be ob observing and the, the concentration in them like these mobiles you know they've been they've been used for for decades now in Montessori settings around the world and in Montessori homes so it's just um it's it's a great it's a great gift for for new new parents and yeah. The babies um yeah and then they're quite pretty like you could you can always keep them as decorations afterwards do you have like long-term plans is your, is your hope to sort of just get this stuff outreaching more do you want every setting to be a Montessori setting what's what's your dream yeah basically it's it's to get Montessori out there in as many homes and nurseries as possible really it's what challenges do you think are going to lie ahead for for this as a business or as well it, it depends on the directions it goes in I should say that I've I work in full time so the, the mobiles are kind of making my spare time more as a hobby than anything. And for me, it's really important to have the enjoyment making it and the love that goes into making the mobiles from my enjoyment, because I think that also makes it more of a nice item. It's, it's, you can kind of, you can see the care that's taken to make it. And, you know, each piece is unique. It's, it's original, it's unique. It's, it's absolutely 100% handcrafted. Um, and it's it's done with due attention and care. So for me, it's about keeping that going, to be honest. Um, yeah. So yeah, you know, I'd, I'd like to think that in, in five, 10 years, we're still making and, and sharing the mobiles. If you hit a, an unmanageable amount of orders due to crow and tail, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, we, we, won't, we won't complain. Oh, you? absolutely not. No, we're hoping that this actually uh, boosts things and, and gets the word out there. We are actually planning on doing some, making some DIY kits as well for oh, those yeah. to mm -hmm. feel, um, yeah, like taking Craft on the challenge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully everyone watching this has learned a bit more about Montessori and how sort of handmade... Uh, artistry and sort of handcrafted treasures can can play a, a really important part in uh, children's early years. Thank you so much. Oh, thank uh, you for showing me all your lovely things. And yes, hopefully lots of people will see this and uh, and head to your shop. <laughs> <laughs>